Hello everyone, with my channel. Today we're doing reading for sign of cancer. I think mine, this will not resonate for every cancer. So let's see what we have for sign of cancer. Four of Cups. There may have been someone here giving their emotions, their time, their love, or some sort of offer, but the other person was just ignoring. All right, so that could have been you. You trying to offer your cup to someone. They ignored you, or maybe you ignored someone who tried to offer it to you. We have the devil. Six of swords. There's change. You're moving fast towards change. Nine of cups. You're moving towards your wish fulfillment. All right, cancer. Away from the devil. Towards your wish fulfillment. Eight of swords. Reverse. You're no longer stuck. So you had someone here bound that was stuck. You're getting unstuck. Cancer. Unbound. Magician. Manifesting. Five of Pentacles. But you see, there's someone here trying to offer someone help. The other person is not seeing it. Knight of Swords. I feel like you're focused. Something that you're trying to manifest. Wish fulfillment. Three of Swords. Maybe it's some sort of heartbreak. Six of Pentacles. But you're going to be receiving from the universe here. You're receiving money. Abundance overall. We have a fairy, so it's a time of magic. Cancer. Temperance. We have Sagittarius. You have those placements in your chart. The one around you, but once again, this is kind of like, this card reminds you of like magic. It's like a magical time for you. Cancer. We have the Empress. All right, so you're sitting here like the Empress or the Emperor. Very abundant. All right, on beaches. Beautiful scenery. We're also connected with the goddess Yamaya. Ten of Cups. We have a group of people here. So this could be your soul family. Maybe coming together with them. Alright, people who are just like you. That may be your Ten of Cups. Now, if you are interested in meeting more people who are like you, let's say if you're into spirituality, you're into gods, goddesses, the spirit world, there's actually a link for that in the description down below. Alright, join my spiritual group. Anyways, we have your Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This is very good combination, especially with the Empress and other cards there. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have money, we have food, which is abundance, and we have family. Page of Pentacles. See, this is like, this is a very magical time. We have opportunities and offers coming in. We have the fairies, we have the rainbow. All right? So this is a time of magic. Cancer, you may manifest this all this last full moon. All right, this may have been a wish fulfillment. Here, we have the Queen of Cups. This could be your own card, whether you're male or female, it does not matter. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, would be that of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Get this placement in your chart on around you, but look at this, manifesting a bunch of money as well. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Maybe you're in your emotions, asking for something, reflecting. Four of Swords, may have been healing. Here, Ten of Wands for something that was burdening you. All right, see, we were just talking about the moon. We have the moon here. You ask the moon for something. I feel like you're going to receive that, and we have music notes from the moon as well. Something with music. We have judgment. All right? Judgment. So we have the spirit world waking people up. But I also feel like you may be waking people up here. Cancer, getting people out of their bubbles, awakening them more to the spirit world, especially if you're that of like a tarot reader or some sort of spiritual leader. If a death card, see, there's a release of what was burdening you. And I feel like there's a release of what was burdening people. All right? Two of cups, there's love as well. There's love coming into your life, Cancer. Maybe that was something you may have asked for. Six of wands with those victory here. See, this group of people looking at you, you must be some sort of leader, all right? Or you have a following or something along those lines. But you have people here watching you. Queen of Swords. We have Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's got those placements in your chart. One around you. We have a line of people going to give you things. Cancer. Alright. This could be money, gifts, or whatever. But we have a line of people coming to give you things who are looking up to you. Ten of Swords. There's some sort of ending here. Two of Swords. There's an ending with people who... May have tried to give you conflict about this. All right, maybe you cut them off. Eight of Wands, now you're moving on to different things, new beginnings. All right, it gives like a sense of freedom. Ace of Swords, yeah, I feel like you're going to cut people off who are trying to give you conflict about what you're doing. Ain't none in their business. 
And the four of pentacles. All right, self-care. Eight of cups. Yeah, I feel like you walked away from someone here who's giving you conflict. You went and talked to the moon. Hermit. See, this is what you went within to do. Sound of swords. There have been a group of people. We have the sun. So we had the moon earlier. We have the sun. The sun and the moon. This is a state of balance. So you're connected with both. Bring in balance. The light and the dark here. Okay. We're on the frequency of the sun and the moon. It's very high vibrations. We have the emperor. It can be that of Aries. You have those placements in your chart. Maybe one around you. But we also have Poseidon here with the fishtail and the trident. We have justice. You're going to have justice being brought into your life, Cancer. Divine justice of balancing things out. Page of Wands. Or something you may be creating, maybe in terms of business here. Five of Cups. I feel like there's someone missing you. Could have been the person that you walked away from. All right, but they should have activated the first time. So, that is all I have for you. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.